Yes, unfortunately, Ben is not ready. <laughs> oh, hand warmer? <laughs> okay, so this is a hand warmer right now. <laughs> Alright. So Matt about to get some free percent here at the start of the match. <laughs> I think Ben might actually be opting to go Corrin's just so he can get in uh, a lot quicker. So he doesn't get walled out by Link. I'm gonna go ahead and actually confirm which round of winner side this is. There's Kona. Uh, where'd DJ go? Okay, so that concludes the hand warmer, I believe. wonder if Edgar and Fail are playing right now. Oh, we're actually running loser's side, too. Navi's in loser's side. Okay, anyways, getting back into the match. Uh, I am joined with my friend Zerx here. Zerx? You are connected. Uh, you're connected. Oh, you can't- I can't hear anything either. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, so Ben already off to a great start, getting 50%. Matt's gonna- Matt's still sticking to the kind of, uh, projectile-based damage here. Woo -hoo -hoo. I spoke too soon, getting a quick string of two up tilts and an up air. That's such a cute movement from Link, when he does that, um, jump cancel bomb throw, and his arm still moves up. He, no matter where he throws it, his arm goes up. Well, maybe his uh, in-game tag, but as far as I've known him, he goes by Matt. And he actually took the first stock off then, so he's, he's sitting pretty nice. All he has to do is play a slow, neutral, play... Oh, this might be it. And he almost got him with that slide of insta-pin, but I don't know. He, I guess he was too close to the ground and actually canceled the hitbox. We've seen some great patience here from Matt. Yeah, he might not have, in comparison to like Toon Link, he might not have the quickest attacks, but he does have longer attacks and meteor attacks. So, let's say you, you uh, fare from ledge, that has so much shield stun and so much shield pressure that it's actually safe. <laughs> like, if you try to punish it, he can grab you or jab you. And look at Matt running away with his lead here at 70%, and he almost traded with that down air to get a kill. Yeah, he went for the Tomahawk and actually waited even further for his next option. Yep. Yeah, but if Matt starts reaching a little too much for these kills, Ben could bring it back, but that reverse hit of fair almost took the stock. Fair, up air, 61. Ben can actually take this back now. Yeah, Matt was getting a little bit impatient, and now we're seeing an even game here. All Matt really needs is an up air, F tilt, or a fair, I believe. Okay, good luck, Zerx. So now Matt kind of stuck in the corner here, waiting for uh, one of the kill options to open up for him. He's got to be aware of instapen, how quick it is. Almost getting the bomb up air. True, but not quite true enough there. He possibly could have converted a fair off that as well. And timing in F tilt perfectly to cover Ben's neutral get up. Matt taking game one here. 
now discussing bands. I think they might be going town. But yeah, once again, great play from uh, Matt right there, immaculate F tilt near the end. I, I feel like he really just got kind of impatient once he had the lead, and he just wanted to kill as quick as possible. Ben converting off of that intent and actually making an even game, but unfortunately, his get up option was not the right one. Matt is the best and only Link player in Vegas, so it's quite interesting to watch him and how he's kind of pushing his own meta here. He's taken knowledge from players like T, uh, even Mr. R's Link, and just converging all of that into one neutral. And he is quite technical in his own right. Ben is starting off with a great offensive. It almost feels like Matt is suffocating here, trying to find an option and actually getting a little bit overwhelmed here, as you can see, hitting himself with his own bomb and then getting caught in landing lag on the ledge. And I'm actually surprised that that bomb didn't hit Ben as well. He's to be careful for this insta pin. Mm. He launched a little bit out of Ben's wanted uh, range. That was a very risky option, but it actually worked out for him, and he got a dare with Max Rage, killing Ben at 40 with the down air. That was an amazing uh, turn of events, but he's going to die to this instant pin, regardless of DI. Now with an even game, we see another chance for Matt to come back here and just kind of change, thing change things up from first stock. So, uh, Turtle, what we saw right there was Matt getting taken all the way to 140% by Ben, and then turning it all around with one ledge scenario, getting a down air at 40 and spiking Ben. Yeah, so now he actually has the advantage here with a game up on Ben. He ha Yeah, he could actually take this set. Plenty of points. This could bump him up there, and Ben... Uh, depending on how he runs through loser's bracket, that might be the case. He wants to make this the last game. No one wants to play a stressful game three. Yeah, and we saw this in game one as well. As soon as he gets the lead, he starts getting a little bit uh, antsy for the kill. And then, yeah, you gotta be careful for that. Oh. Yeah. True. And uh, especially that covers Tether as well, because Tether is a vulnerable state of recovery. Yeah, it's awful. He could either get a stage spike with a back air or intercept it with insta pin like he did right there. Yeah. And I feel like uh, Matt was trying to grab a bomb there to try to extend his recovery if he did get forced back farther, but Ben capitalized on that, so... Okay, so we have another even game, and we're running it back to Battlefield. Let's see if Matt can have a luckier run on his first stock than he did last time. But unfortunately... It looks like... Ben is, uh, he's one to go after the, uh, okay, I thought that would've been a fair. He's one to go after that Tomahawk quite often. You can expect that from his neutral, but you also gotta be afraid of Instapendent, like, landing with Nair. They're dangerous. True. Oh, that might not be the stock, actually. I forgot, ooh! Is that it? No. But he doesn't have a bomb, so... Okay, he's able to make it back. And 
and I'm not taking him out of the game yet. Oh, I really wish he would have survived that because Ben has a very convincing lead going on right now with only 19% on the board for his first stock. Man, it's almost like Ben uh, flipped the switch into this game three, and he's just showing him. He's, sh he's showing him why he's up there, and it's just uncontested percent right now. Yes, expectation to perform is definitely a key factor in this set right now, especially since Matt took game one so convincingly. Yeah, then he flipped the switch. There was nothing Matt could do there. 